No justice. No peace. No justice. At 6 p.m., hundreds gather peacefully in downtown Dallas to protest the two recent fatal police shootings of black men. Some protesters even taking photos with Dallas PD, showing their solidarity. Then at 8.45, just a mile from City Hall, shots ring out. Officers scramble to secure the scene. Moving protesters out of harm's way. The shots grow louder. As at least two snipers fire on police from elevated positions. Patrick Cooper filming this video inside El Centro College, where one of the snipers appears to be shooting from above. Is somebody shooting? This chilling video shows one of the gunmen taking aim at a police officer. He misses twice before firing the deadly shot. We got a guy with a long rifle. We don't know where the hell he's at. The Dallas police chief calling it an ambush against law enforcement. We believe that these suspects were positioning themselves in a way to triangulate on these officers from do two different perches in garages and planned to injure and kill as many law enforcement officers as they could. Bystanders also caught in the carnage. And right as she started to run, she caught a bullet in the back of her right calf. She immediately jumped on top of one of her sons. Teresa Williams telling us that her sister, Shatamia Taylor, at the rally to protest peacefully with her four sons, was shot in the leg while trying to shield her boys. She's recovering in the hospital. It's all she keeps saying is I, I, my prayers go out for the families of the cops that have lost their lives. The intensive manhunt for the snipers paralyzing this city. Reports of possible bombs planted by the shooters causing panic. Three suspects now in custody. Seven hours after the first shots fired, the last remaining gunman shot dead by police. As morning breaks here, 11 officers shot, five killed, including 43-year-old officer Brent Thompson, the city's mayor calling the shooting heartbreaking. I ask everybody to focus on one thing right now, and that is our Dallas police officers, their families, those that are deceased, those that are in the hospital, fighting for their lives. Let's all come together and support our police officers. This morning, county offices and many businesses downtown are closed as a precaution. One of the snipers had claimed that there were bombs planted downtown, but so far police are saying that no explosives have been found. George? Thank goodness for that. Okay, Philip, thanks very much.